Greetings, I am Rob Chappers and this is the Chapman Guitars ML1. I wanted my signature guitar to be more than just my signature. I wanted it to be the guitar for the people. The concept of collaborative design was born. In a series of videos, uh, we went through almost every aspect of the guitar that I could think of that we could collaboratively design. Collaborative design was a brilliant medium for bringing forth awesome concepts and ideas. So this is uh, proto number one. About 10 pounds of guitar, this. This was what they call overkill. <laughs> uh, I wanted to change a few things about it, and so I set to task to ask the guys on YouTube what they wanted after I played the living crap out of it. I knew that I wanted to make an affordable guitar, um, but at the same time, I wasn't prepared to cut quality. <laughs> So this is prototype number two. I got called in for a meeting at Barnes and Mullins and Brian and Bruce, uh, the two MDs who now bought Barnes and Mullins and owned it, said to me, it's going so well, we really think this guitar should be bought out under your own brand. And so Chapman Guitars was born. Something I was very keen on was that the ML1 would be a blank canvas uh, so that people who bought the guitar, if they wanted to, could take it and fit expensive aftermarket pickups to replace the affordable ones that we put in there. So if you buy an ML1, find a great luthier nearby you, buy some pickups and have him wire them in for you and take a listen to how it sounds in phase, out of phase, different positions. There's so much you can do with wiring and with pickups to find your own signature sound. Choosing the voice for your own guitar is a journey of musical discovery and it's a really exciting one. And here we have the very first ammo one off the production line. It's uh, wonderfully crafted. Um, bearing in mind this is an affordable guitar. It's 299 English Great British pounds. It's got some of the best spec you could ever buy on a guitar. Each guitar comes with a top of the range Wilkinson tremolo. These tremolos are fantastic vintage style, but the saddles are encased so they can't move side to side, which is a really good feature. Three-way selector switch, nice and simple. 
Also, it's coil tappable, which means in the first position it's just the bridge humbucker. In the middle position, it's the outside coil and the middle uh, single coil. And in the last one, it's just this particular single coil here on the neck. <laughs> So a range of tones, really woody in the middle, really hot here, and really warm and bluesy right at the neck pickup. <laughs> is a one-piece solid mahogany body beautifully resonant warm the frets are regular jumbos not quite a dunlop but pretty close to it and we've got this unique little uh, infinity logo design on the 12th fret um, no markings on the front of the board other than a 12th but on the side of the guitar we've got these dots here showing you exactly where you are <laughs> Pretty end of the guitar, we've got a reverse Telecaster headstock, Grover tuners, these are 18 1 ratio, really good tuners by Grover, uh, my name, string trees, uh, great for keeping the tension over the beautiful bone nut. Every Chapman guitar Zemmer one also comes with a shadow kill pot as a volume knob, so it's a volume and it's a kill. <laughs> So this Wander in Wood is available to purchase right now for just £299. In fact, if you're in a store watching this right now, go and grab one and try it. You'll recognise it because it's got my face on the back. The whole experience of designing a guitar on the internet with all of my fans and friends was such a great experience. It was like having a giant online family. Uh, and I'm so proud of this guitar that when people buy it, I ask them to join my heritage. All you do is go on to chapmanguitars.co.uk and send me a photograph of you with your MO1 and I'm very proud to have you as part of my heritage. Well, thank you very much for watching this little movie about the Chapman Guitars MO1. Uh, it's been a blast here at World Guitars in Gloucestershire. I want to thank Andy behind the camera. I want to thank Smithy and Jeff over there for not saying the word <coughs> And uh, you take it easy, chappers out. <coughs> It's a beautiful guitar. It really is a beautiful guitar.